Okay, so Phantom 3 Pro. This is a customer's gimbal, and he told me that when he turns it on, gets a weird behavior, and I'll show you that in a second. As you can see, something's not right. So in this particular case, I'm not gonna have the gimbal on for too long, that's because the motors are working super hard. So, in, when you have a behavior on the camera like this, it is most likely a pitch sensor board or a roll sensor board. And I'll show you that in just a second. So underneath here is a, let me see if I have, yep, yeah, okay. Underneath here we have a roll sensor board and underneath here we have a pitch sensor board. So what you do is take them out and we're going to measure the resistance on, there's a potentiometer, a variable potentiometer on each of those two boards and we're going to be looking for a specific resistance on those two. It's a pretty easy fix, majority of people, a lot of people think that um, they have to buy a new whole gimbal and a lot of people are suggesting that to other people and so this is the sensor board and I'm gonna take that puppy out so basically this is what you're looking at I know the lighting is not the best Let's see if I can move my Osmo a little bit so the lighting is gonna be a little bit better so this is what we're looking for so this is where the potentiometer is right there and what I'm looking for is there is a connector up here three connectors down here I'm actually gonna try and zoom this in a little bit okay there we go so one connector here three connectors here we want the potentiometer to be it's got a flat surface right it's got a flat surface right there I can see it right there it's got to be facing up so this way toward the first connector so we're looking for the reading between this this probe and this probe and then this probe and this connector right here and we're looking for about approximately four kilo ohms and I'm gonna turn around my Osmo real quick oh the other way all right so I'm gonna do a measurement between the first the, the pin on the top and the connector on the bottom left and then the connector on the bottom right so we should have about 4k as you can see we're showing 9 mega ohms and that's on the first one and then let's switch it to the other one okay so that something is not right with this potentiometer so I'm gonna rotate the potentiometer about um, 90 degrees and I'm gonna do the same measurements between the two connectors as you can see it's reading exact same resistance so wherever I put this potentiometer it's got pretty much the same resistance which means it has a crack on it somewhere so what we're gonna do is place it with a new just the potentiometer itself so here let me just make quick measurements make sure that this guy is okay and no this guy is not okay because it's got a broken probe Got a broken connector but I'm still going to just make measurements on the actual potentiometer just to see if I have yep so right now I'm showing 3.5k resistance I'm showing 3.5k resistance here if I move this potentiometer 90 degrees if I rotate it I should have 2k right here and have which is exactly what I'm showing and a 4k right here if I rotate the potentiometer 180 degrees so now it's facing so the flat surface is this way I should have 4k right here which yep 3.8 perfect and I should have around 2 so 1.9 right there which is great but I still have a problem because as you can see let me see if I can show you see how this is broken off so this has to be soldered back on. So I'm just I think it's showing me low battery, but I will just pop a little bit of solder on this guy real quick. 
Uh, it's not there yet. It's at 440. I want it to be at 480 degrees Fahrenheit uh, Celsius. I'm sorry. It's just not quite there yet. See my solder is warming up. So, all right, that's ready to go. Back. What? Put it back on. Just to get it going. Okay. So we're good to go. Just want to make one last measurement. Make sure that this is all good. Four, four, actually about three, a little bit less than four. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this um, roll sensor board that I got from a different broken gimbal, and I'm gonna put this guy back on, and I'm gonna plug that gimbal back on the same bird that it came from. Okay, let me just rotate this a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing I'm just uh, basically putting the thing back on it all right I'm just gonna put one screw back in and Keep in mind that these are two different sizes under this back plate, two different sizes of screws. These three actually are small to this gimbal, which before it was doing the crazy dance. And as you can see, now it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, granted, it's a little bit crooked, but uh, we're gonna adjust that, and right there it goes. Okay. So all I need to do is connect the video feed and see if the gimbal is working fine. But uh, basically that was it. It was just a bad, uh, bad board, a uh, bad potentiometer, crack potentiometer on. So basically what I do is I grab the smallest, tiniest Phillips that I have. And I just nudge it underneath here. And I'm actually lucky because this guy already broke off on that top connector. So all I need to do is actually take the three connectors off. Basically just the solder, the three connectors. So I just bent it a little bit like this. Let me see if you guys can still see it. Yep. So I bent it like this a little bit. I am going to apply a little bit of flux to those three connectors so then I can evenly distribute the heat um, just with applying one solder and try to get that guy out as quick as possible. like that so now we got the potentiometer off okay okay so I found the, ten the new potentiometers basically they look like this they usually come in a when you order a lot of them they usually come in a package like that so I'm just gonna grab one dunk the connectors in the flux apply a little bit of solder okay so usually when I apply solder to something that is like that I try to have it uh, elevated like this and then just apply a tiny little 
Alright, we'll never do it. Right there. And same thing on the one connector. Can you see this? Yeah, I hope so. There we go. Okay. So now all we have to do is just solder this guy back on. Now we're working with the same uh, with the same board that this sensor board that I got from the customer that did that crazy dance before the gimbal did. So I'm just gonna use a, there's a little plastic holders in here. I just have to take them out. So um, we might have a little problem because on this particular board I can tell right now there is no connector left. Um, there is no copper left on this side right here, and basically it connects to the middle. And yeah, it should it should short out right there. So if I just grab a different guy, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a ohm meter right here and here, and should be zero, and that's exactly what it's showing. So this connector is just connected to this. So for this particular guy, what I would have to do is um, grab a tiny little wire. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to solder this guy back on. to do is because this wire has no connection to anything whatsoever I can't just leave it there because it's not doing anything I'm gonna just apply solder to it just in case there is a little bit of copper underneath but I don't think there is I don't think there is but I maybe maybe I'll get lucky we'll see so this and this should be shorted and actually it is so okay so what I'm gonna do is now just measure the potentiometer so make sure I didn't damage it 4k 4k excellent so it's working so what I'm gonna do now is um, grab that gimbal same gimbal that we just worked with and I replace that sensor board and I'm gonna put that original board back in that I just replaced the potentiometer on and let's see what happens okay I should have some music playing in the background I think Okay, so I'm gonna just put this guy back on. Just grab one screw so I don't have to use, so I don't have to unscrew all five of them in case I have to replace this guy again. And we're only gonna be applying power. So no need to do any video right now. So, all right, so let's see. If this worked. Oh look at that. So I'm just gonna let it initialize. Okay. I don't know, yeah, you can't see it. I'm gonna zoom out and show you that's that broken gimbal that was doing that chicken dance. Crazy chicken dance. But now, as you can see, working just fine. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and fire up the, put in the video cable, um, sync it with a controller and um, see if we have the video on it, okay? I'll be right back. 